Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anu Joshi and I'm a real estate broker based in Toronto in the GTA. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the February 2022 stats from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. So February was a crazy busy time. It's like we got a super early spring market, um, if we can call it that even. So January was crazy, February was equally crazy. Um, in, in terms of comparison to February 2021, in 2021, Feb, we have uh, 10,929 sales. So almost 11,000 sales that month. Uh, whereas this February, we actually only had 9,097 sales, right? Which is almost a 2,000 uh, unit difference. So number of sales actually went down uh, about 16.8%. So this is talking about volume, right? Like number of units sold that actually went down from last year to this year. Interestingly, however, prices went significantly up. If we look at February, 2021, uh, the average price on Trev MLS Sale, uh, sales data for Feb 2021 was 1,045,000, whereas this year it was 1,335,000, which is a huge increase. We are talking 27.7% uh, increase year over year for the month of Feb, um, which is a huge increase. Now, if we're looking at year over year summary um, from 2021 Feb to 2022 Feb, we saw that most of the metrics actually went down, um, except for average price. Now, it can mean a couple of different things, so I'm going to go through them with you. So number one was sales, which we already discussed, which is the volume and number of units sold. So that went down from last year to this year, down 16.8%. New listings, that metric also went down 6.6% from last year to this year. That means there were more new listings put on the market in February of last year than there were this year. So it's not a huge amount, 6.6% less, uh, but we did see that in the, in the frenzy of what was happening in the real estate market in Jan and Feb, uh, you know, fewer units being listed on the market, having less inventory, obviously fueled that drive uh, up in prices. We also had 20% uh, less active listings. So at any given time, the number of active listings in the market, whatever they were last year in February, uh, there were 20% less now, which also contributed to an inventory issue. If we look at average days on market, uh, that metric also went down. In 2022, um, sorry, in 2021, the average days on market for a listing were 14 days, whereas in 2022, this year, it was only nine days. So that uh, timeline of being on the market, like how long it takes a house to sell, um, it was down 37.5%. So almost by a third uh, faster than they sold last year, were home selling this year, which is interesting. So all of those are metrics are, you know, going down, so to say. Um, the average price, as I mentioned, went jumped from 45 to 1.335 this February, which was a jump of 27.7%. If we break it down quickly into the uh, different types of homes, so uh, if we're talking detached, semi-detached, townhouse, and condo apartments, um, the average price in the GTA, so this is all of GTA and all tribe areas, for a detached home was 1.797. Semi-detached home was 1.358, a townhouse was 1.121, and a condo apartment average was 799. So keep in mind, um, the average includes all unit, um, all units all over the GTA. We're not segregating by, by area. So it could be out as far uh, east as Durham region, out as far as west as Hamilton um, and Halton region. You know, those are uh, a lot of those are all TREB areas, so it takes up all of that data, which is quite interesting. Um, another thing to, to note was that in terms of inflation in January and February, we hit a very, very high rate of inflation. I have the Jan 2022 statistic here, which was 5.1%, uh, and I think it stayed similar throughout February as well. Um, so a lot of things, you know, trending in the market. Um, uh, in March... There was also an interest rate increase, so we'll discuss that um, in my March video. Uh, but basically, this was uh, this was the highlights 
of February TREB MLS sales activity. And if you have any questions about real estate in Toronto or the GTA, please let me know. I'll put all my contact information below. And I do make videos uh, regularly sharing uh, information about the real estate market here in Toronto and the GTA um, and, uh, and policy changes about housing and new developments and all of that jazz. So thank you very much for watching to the end of this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.